4 times 6 is equal to 24. Here is one way to show that and suddenly there are far, far more connections here than most people ever realize. To begin, if 4 times 6 is equal to 24, then 6 times 4 is also equal to 24. And since multiplication is related to division, we also know that 24 divided by 4 is equal to 6 and 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4. Of course, that is only the beginning. This image is extremely powerful. Here's an array. We know that an array that is 6 by 4 will have a total of 24. And we also know that we can break 24 apart into 4 groups of 6, just like this. And when we put 6 groups of 4 together, the total is 24. And we know that we can break 24 apart into 4 groups of 6, just like this. And when we put 4 groups of 6 together, the total is 24. So we can think of 4 times 6 as 4 groups of 6. You may recognize this as repeated addition. If we count the groups of 6, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 6, and the total of 4 groups of 6 is 24. And if 4 times 6 is equal to 24, we also know that 6 times 4 is equal to 24. So we can think of 24 as 6 groups of 4. If we count the groups of 4, we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 groups of 4, which is equal to 24. And there are many more ideas. When we look at the multiplication table, we can see that 4 times 6 is equal to 24. 24 is a multiple of 4, and 24 is also a multiple of 6. In fact, if you look closely, you'll find another connection. You'll see that 24 is the sixth multiple of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 24 is the fourth multiple of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Understanding that 24 is a multiple of both 4 and 6 is very important. There are still many, many more relationships among these numbers. You may notice that 24 is greater than 4, and 24 is also greater than 6, but how many times greater? Here is the answer. 24 is 6 times greater than 4, and 24 is also 4 times greater than 6. As you can see, there are many relationships among these numbers. When we see this image, we know there are four simple equations connected with it, and we also know that there are many, many more ideas waiting to be discovered. The more we work with this idea, the more opportunities we have to find those ideas. The day two routine has two pages. On the left, students will be working with multiplication and division fact families. While some people may think that the point of this triangle is to prompt students to write four equations, after all, there are four very important equations connected to it. I think of it differently. I think of these four spaces as a prompt to think about the connections among these four numbers. Of course, that learning is powerful and important because it can be applied to other multiplication relationships, which is very important. And then on the bottom of the page, students see a picture which they can use to complete their relationships. As you glance over at the facing page, you'll see that students are going to be working with multiple representations. And if you look very carefully, you might see how several of these representations are connected to the ideas we've examined in this video. 